My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Fallout 2. Okay, so we're dealing with Skynet at the moment. I'm dealing with taking infinite amounts of damage. Marcus was hit for thing, so was Sulik hit for thing. Okay. Whoop. There's another thing here. Okay, disabled it for 200. Lovely. I don't like that all of these exist in here. Let's call this kind of like my trial run through this facility. Because if anything starts up at any... Ooh, nope, that's just the foot of the table. If anything starts up at any point, I reserve the right to go, Excellent, now we're going to reload with the knowledge that if we get to this area, this is going to happen. I reserve the right to do that at all times. But especially now. Okay. Some buff out on the floor. There's another buff out here if I... Yeah, that's buff out. Another buff out? No, Psycho. Okay, so this area is just full of drugs. Interesting. Two Psycho, two buff out. And the door is blown open. And all of the stuff in the room is obviously upturned and broken. Is it possible that some kind of, like... Psycho... Powerful drug user was being kept in there? Well, I say drug, I mean cam, obviously, because that's the way the Fallout universe has started to refer to those things. They don't want to call them drugs anymore because, well, thank you, Australian government, for doing this. The Australian government said, oh, if you call them drugs, we're never going to allow you to sell those games in our... Whoa! That's a skeleton with a huge fucking brain. Interesting. I have to assume that these were, like, test subjects. And a big book of science in front of it. Okay, so this one was made to be super powerful. This one was made to be super smart. I don't know what this one was made to be because there's nothing in there. Same with this, same with this. So, maybe I have the option to take the brain from this guy or this guy and put it in Skynet so I can either make Skynet super aggressive or super smart. I mean, that seems feasible or even likely anything on the ground here no nothing okay organic extraction unit the latest model in vault do it yourself surgery series removes org organs automatically with the breast of a body oh i might have to put a body on that interesting i wonder if i would be able to sacrifice like my followers because i know you can sell them into slavery holy shit there's a lot of cams in here Really good ones, too. Okay, what's this one? Experiment holodisc. Excellent. Exactly what I want. Please don't be seven pages long. Anything under three pages I'm totally okay with. Pip boy Status. Because I find the longer I read, the worse I get at reading. Uh, experiment log. Two pages. Done. Easy. Sierra Army Depot. R&D. That's really interesting. Uh, attending physician, Dr. H. Lecter. Obviously a reference to Hannibal Lecter. Who is Hannibal the Cannibal, the Red Dragon. Whatever film you've seen that he's in. Silence of the Lambs. The current series... Well, I want to say current series, but it just ended. I cannot believe Hannibal got cancelled. It's such a good sh... Whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna cry. Uh, okay. June 28th, 2077. Today, the boys in bio storage played a great joke on me. One of the little pranksters altered the settings on my vault Tech automated organ extractor. Boy, was I surprised when Private Callow came out of the operating room without a colon. Good thing he was dead already or I'd be in trouble. I hardwired the machine to extract only brains so this wouldn't happen again. I'll get them back for this. June 29th, 2077. I removed Private Callow's liver and cooked it. Uh-huh... I then had it sent down to the boys in biostorage with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Okay, so that's actually a straight reference to the Anthony Hopkins version of Hannibal Lecter, where... What's, what's her name? Julie something? There's an actress opposite him, and he just says that a census, tenst, uh, <clears throat> a census tester once tried to test me. I ate his liver with a... F I ate his liver? Oh! I ate his liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. 
And it's just like this really creepy moment. But okay, so they're going all out with this reference. Uh, they think it was a special thank you for a job well done. I love my job. I tried a new chem cocktail of buff out and psychos on one of my patients. That explains that guy up there. Mixed with some special enhancers I've been toying around with, the results were very promising, if not messy. The subject became very violent and managed to break out of his room. Luckily, the new security robots were in place and managed to subdue him. I'll have maintenance come down and replace that door. So this must not have been long before it went completely outside of uh, control, basically because maintenance didn't come down to fix it in time. My favorite experiment died. I'd been feeding him a, a steady diet of Mentats mixed with my special enhancers. He went from an IQ of 39, which is like, uh, 39 is very, 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 very low. Like it's, it's, it's medically diagnosably low. Uh, to an IQ of 200, which is almost one of the highest in existence. Uh, in just a few weeks. I'm saddened since he was one of the few people I could really talk to. He will be sorely missed. Uh, we think the new cybernetic brain is finally ready. We have to run some more tests on it, but it looks promising. Robotics isn't happy with their precious computer being modified to run the base's security for the evacuation. I can't say I'm happy either, since Cybernet, sorry, Skynet has been invaluable in developmental stages of a new cybernetic brain. The evacuation has just been moved up. What rotten timing and we were just about to start installation of the new cybernetic brain. They say the evacuation is temporary so I'll continue my research when I come back. Uh, this will probably be my last log for some time since I will be busy gathering up as much of my research as possible. Okay. Let's actually check the pit boy. Okay. Two, two, four. Okay. So we're like 150 years past that point. So I'm going to assume they didn't really get back to it. Let's check the computer. Welcome to vault -Tech's state of the art organ extraction apparatus. To operate, please place donor in operating room, turn dial to appropriate species, and select organ to ex be extracted. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that because that looks like I'd be harming my own people. I'm a very nice guy sometimes. God, Marcus gets hit for way more than I do. Oh, he has, like, no health left either. Okay, let's check out this computer. Okay, uh, retrieve or store? Retrieve. Retrieve viruses, organs, or cadaver. Organs? Retrieve brain. Warning storage apparatus malfunction. A precise set of calculations is needed to save the brains. A stream of formulas and measurements stream across the screen. It looks highly scientific to you. Attempt to make adjustments. I have huge science. Uh, obviously, you know what you're doing. With the exception of one ever error, you are able to save three out of four brains. You knew reading those science journals would come in handy. Retrieve brain. Okay. Abnormal brain, chimpanzee brain, or human brain? Human? Is of an average human? No. Abnormal. Uh, is a live neural output uh, way below normal? Nope. Chimpanzee. Uh, they're active, but differ from those of a human brain. You know what? I'll just get human. The robot quickly leaves to retrieve your brain. Upon returning, you see it has problems. Uh, it... The observation is driven home where the robot explodes suddenly. Lucky for you, it managed to deliver the brain before it expired. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the brain now, I assume. Yep. Normally they're found in human skulls, yuck. Okay, just check the rest of this room. What do you want? You need to heal. Maybe you should have a... Maybe you should be... Maybe you... Maybe you should stop being such a baby. Maybe you should have a... Maybe you should shut the fuck up. Maybe you should have a look at this. Yeah, maybe I should. You've been very consistent about asking me to, so yeah. I, I think maybe that's you should idea. have a look at this. I no longer think it's a good idea, you goddamn whiny bitch. Maybe you should. Come on. Maybe you should. Look at this big whiny fuckboy. Constantly maybe. asking me to have a look at this. No, thank you. Maybe you should have a look at this. Okay. What do you want? Uh, to see why my screen just went black. What do you want? Let's check out your HP. Oh, God. 
What? You only healed as fast as the other dude. That'd be a good thing. Like, I tell Sully to heal three times, and he's like, we'll do. Don't worry, the fucking spirits are looking out after me, I'm fine. We didn't want. Don't be sexist. Spirits have guarded us. We're we didn't want to be a little girl about it. What's wrong with being a little girl? What do you want? Many people in this world are little girls. Maybe you should have a look. Maybe you should have a look at- Maybe you should stop biting off your tongue every single time Maybe. you speak. Maybe. Maybe you should- God, please tell me that you just what have you like want? decent HP now. You know what? It'll do. <laughs> I'm not interested in wasting all of my stim packs or all of my time. There. I'll use a stim pack on you, you big whiny baby. Okay, let's get out of here. I wonder what the fourth brain was, and also if it's possible at all to actually save it. It's got Clifton's eye, perfect. Use Clifton's eye. Oh, excellent. I got in just in time to stop Sulik from possibly trying to go through that gate. That's just going to save Sulik from taking some damage, basically. Okay. Hopefully neither of them die trying to traverse that. God, Marcus gets hit for so much more. Weird. Okay. Uh... Nice, it's telling me to go to the lab and install the brain, which I'll totally do. And then I'll see if I'm being betrayed. So that's just how I activate it, so I assume I actually have to go in here and interact with it, put the brain in. Oh, there's some biomed gel on the floor as well. It is missing several parts. How many parts is it missing? So I've got a brain for it, put the brain in the body. Nice. You connect the brain of the neural inf interface to the receptacle. It is missing several parts. Well, we were just given Biomed Gel, and that has no other use as far as I'm aware, so let's try Biomed Gel as well. Biomed Gel reservoirs are now full. It's missing several parts. What parts is it missing? Anything that I picked up here? I could give it eyes. Do you want an eye? It does nothing. Parts is it missing? Maybe this uh, will tell me. Systems check. Replace motivator. Biomed gel reservoirs, okay. Organic revised responding. Activation not recommended, okay. Let's exit. Let's see if we can ask Skynet. What is a motivator and how- I mean, these guys have motivators because I constantly aim at their motivators in order to- Well, I don't aim at their motivators at all, I just know that they have motivators. How do I- how do I get a motivator? Error, downloading file, corrupted. What? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm gonna try something. And it's gonna be dumb. Told you. I did tell you it was going to be gone. Okay, I can't even check its body. Load. Oh, shit! That's a very long time ago. Is there any way that I actually survive against these enemies? Well, there's almost no way that uh, Marcus survives. Hmm. Oh, Dixon's eye. Excellent, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna end my turn, see if Marcus survives. If Marcus dies, I'll just restart. And I'll probably actually fade to black and stop you from having to watch me stumble my way through what I'm supposed to be doing here. How am I supposed to get a motivator?
Oh, cool. I can end combat. Nice. Maybe I don't have to restart. This guy came up here, but... Security robot was here for two. I'm going to quickly save here. Sec robe. Just in case I can just like turn around the corner and pop one. Wasn't there a security robot that was coming for me? Or was it... Uploading combat program. Oh, well, at least it's not going there. End combat, enter. Okay, it's coming closer. Okay, now I can turn around and just shoot it. Twice. Okay. I was hit for four. That's lovely. I was knocked to the ground. Probably more damage on that one. Hit for 11. See, if I can shoot twice per turn, it might actually be worth my while to just stand here and shoot it down. Don't hit me for 22 or more. Oh, you hit me a third time? That's not okay. Okay, I'm, I'm lucky that I saved that one. Because I think I can actually kill them. I think I can actually fight that. Sekro. I think it's not only possible, but even relatively likely that I can kill that. So that's those reporting back up there and then going for repairs complete. Repairs complete. So it's this one, which is the one that I failed to deactivate. Excellent. So that does tell me that I was correct in trying to deactivate everything. Destroy target. Yeah, all right. Come for me, buddy. Uh, excuse me. That's a cheap shot. I believe it also missed. No, you hit yourself. Excellent. Good work, buddy. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, that's lovely. Okay, hopefully you have to hit yourself in order to hit me right now. Yes, you hit yourself for five. If I'm alive at the end of this turn, I can probably kill it. But it's looking more iffy whether or not I am. Oh! Yeah. Done! Oh, I'm amazing. Excuse me. What hostile creatures? Are you fucking serious? Nothing is hostile. Nothing on the entire map. God, I hate this bug. Can I check its body for... I can't even check its body. So it doesn't even have a motivator. Where am I supposed to find these fucking motivators? Repair bot. Does this repair bot have a motivator? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Excuse me? Well, that's news to me. News to me is that that apparently has a force field on it. I had no clue because there's literally no force field on it. Let's take Dixon's eye, put it there. Swap it out, use it here. Swap it out, use it here. Excuse me. Excuse me, video game. I would like to use Dixon's eye on this. Thank you. Let's go back to level one. Make life a little easier on myself. Jesus Christ. One hit point at the end of all of that. Repair robot was hit for 18. 16, sorry. What? 
There's a repair boat taking a lot of damage. Why is... Why is there a repair bot taking damage? Okay. I can't rest at, rest at this location. Hold on. Repair bot being hit again. Where are all these repair bots? There's no repair bots on this map. Are these repair bots just gonna die? It looks viable. It looks possible that they'll just kill themselves. I cannot believe the amount of stim packs I'm spending, by the way. It's actually incredibly difficult. Oh! I appear to have frozen the game. What? Yeah, it's- it's looped and frozen. <sighs> okay, the game gets massively bugged when I go to Sierra Army Depot, apparently. Alright, so. We're at 21 minutes, so it's not really worth my time to restart the episode- Well, not restart the episode, but to close the thing, close my recording software, upload the thing- Start the thing again, start my recording software, and then do all the editing in the aftermath. So, our last save, I think, was at Sec Rob. So, for killing the security robot. That wasn't really long. It was like a minute to kill the security robot. So, I can just do that at the start of the next episode. So, I'll just talk momentarily just to get to 25 minutes uh, about what I'm going to do with the very uh, after I do that in the next episode. So, one of the things that I'm definitely going to be looking at is where I can get a robotic motivator. Because that's one of the hugely important things. It doesn't look like you can loot the smaller melee bots. The uh, robot... you I mean, you can't loot them at all. But the, the robo-brains... Which would make sense. Kill a robo-brain, take the parts from the robo-brain to fix the robo-brain, right? But we killed some robo-brains on the second floor and they didn't have anything in them. You could loot them, but they didn't have anything in them. So maybe we have to kill more Robo-Brains and there's like a drop chance or maybe only specific Robo-Brains have it. Maybe I should try and trigger the alarm on floor one and kill these guys because there seem to be far fewer enemies here. That seems like a relatively good idea, especially now that I've got uh, Marcus kind of like set up and fully loaded to actually kill some stuff. Another thing that I should probably do is get some actually effective weapons for Sulik. And maybe start thinking about using pulse grenades myself. I don't think my explosives are that low. Maybe they're at 20% or something like that. Uh, I know I'm inept with them when I try and actually set up a plastic explosive, but being able to throw a grenade shouldn't be that difficult. So I'd really like if I could use those because the pulse grenades are going to do extra damage to the robots. After all of that, let me just say that my name is Dune Rhapsody. The name of the game has been bugged as fuck. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please leave a like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Fallout 2, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye